tietysti. Joo, ne joutuu ottamaan askel kerrallaan. Ei mikään peruskävelyanimaatio vaan ihan. Tää on realistinen itse asiassa. She's still got some scars on her. It adds character. When I joined Starfleet, all I wanted was a ride out of town. But this isn't exactly how I pictured it. On the outside of the ship? <laughs> no. Sometimes it feels like we're just part of the machinery. Don't you want more than that? I mean, Starfleet is noble and all. But it's still a machine. A massive, massive machine. I am more than that. And so are you. You wanted to get away. I enlisted because I didn't want to wait years just to get out and see the galaxy. I wanted to go somewhere. See new worlds. Look up at a sky no one's ever seen before. Just because I'm cranking a hyperspanner up in a Jeffrey's tube today doesn't mean that's all I'll ever be. Diaz to Commander Chovak. We are at the SIF emitter. Acknowledged. You may proceed with the recalibration. Ja tietysti ruupari. Looks good. That wasn't so hard. Vähän sinne päin. Commander Westbrook, right? Chief Science Officer. You remembered my name and my rank. Impressive. Oot tällä vähän asen ongelma kyllä. Yes, I am the Chief Science Officer, and I have the dubious honor of being the most senior officer on this bridge. I know this ship inside and out. I thought I'd have one Better than just about anyone. Well, I'm so glad you said that. Now I know exactly who to turn to when I have questions. Questions are more Commander Ermont's territory. Captain Solano primarily relies on my knowledge and expertise when he needs answers. I'm curious, though. A Kobliad, or half in your case, is an odd choice for first officer, given your vulnerable position. Yeah. But if, as an example, we found ourselves in a hostile situation, and you were suddenly incapacitated because you needed an infusion, what would happen then? Ah, sinä tommonen diabetes sormus periaatteessa. You'd leave Captain Solano without an XO. Ah. Granted, that would be a worst-case scenario, but not outside the realm of possibility. Captain Solano's familiar with my condition. I'm sure it factored into his decision, so I'd have to say it's not a problem. But we should probably have a contingency plan just in case. They could take out a covert case, you are. So that's a normal idea, I would say. Can I be blunt, Commander? I see no reason to stop now. Commander Sutherland, your predecessor, was one of the best first officers in all of Starfleet. His record was impeccable, and his reputation was without equal. I mean, no disrespect, but the shoes you're stepping into are almost impossible to fill. He was loved by the crew, and he was one of my closest friends. So I can only hope that you'll live up to expectations. I don't think I could ever replace Commander Sutherland, and it would be a mistake to even try. Tää on, tää, on, tää on oikea vastaus siis. Ei kukaan pysty niinku toisen, toista ihmistä korvaamaan. Kiitos. Ihmekin työasioita. It's unusual. seen. At the moment I can't tell you if the Resolute will shrug it off or if we're putting ourselves at risk. However, if we learn more about its patterns, its nature, we can come up with a scientific countermeasure. Just a moment. Siellä on avaruus, 
Ya veremos a Poruka. Aquí va. Tracing its trajectory. The Starbase docking clamps are holding. The storm's emissions are fluctuating, coming in waves. And if my projections are right, we're about to get hit by a wide band burst of ionic energy, like a tsunami. I'm reading power abnormal. Red alert. Aye. Evacuating main gangway and retracting. Putting sensor visualization on screen. With the structural integrity field shut down, we can't take a direct hit. Time to impact. One minute. Shield systems are severely impacted. We have limited protection. I need every available solution. What are our options? We can weaken the impact of the storm with a deflector pulse. There's a better way. I'm sending all auxiliary power to the deflector dish. Send the aux power to the shields. We can't reactivate the entire <laughs> shield bubble, but it's a directional threat. So we can orient all we have towards the way. You have to believe me. We only get one shot at this. We can't afford to get it wrong. Commander Westbrook, use the deflector dish. Already working on it. Optimal timing displayed. It's going to be tight. Good. Send the pulse on my command. Now. That was too early. Come on. Already working on it. Optimal timing displayed. It's going to be tight. Good. Send the pulse on my command. Joo, ei ei ollut ihan aaluokan toimintaa. Niin se täytyy tohon osua. No. Now. Vauhtin Starfleetin symboliikka. This is it. All hands, brace for impact. Supercharge the plasma, forcing it to backflush through the system and creating a dangerous imbalance. And you blow out every primary system on the ship. Just tell us where you need us. I need you to traverse the hull to the access port to recalibrate the port nacelle plasma regulator. Aha. Sitä täytyy tehdä ulkoapäin, koska syitä. We've reached the first access point. Understood. Do you see the override for the level one failsafe circuits? Affirmative. Engage the override. It should allow us to stop the EPS flow to the warp engine without triggering an automatic core shutdown. Why did you not get it? Failsafe override engaged. Enpä muuten tiedä. Are you sure? I am registering some crosstalk in the bypass circuit. We need to route the signals so they don't interfere with each other. Dears to Resolute, the failsafes are temporarily disabled. Moving on to the EPS regulator. Heads up, Carter. What is that? One of the discharges coalesced. It's coming right toward us. Not that the cellular energy is all under. Ah. 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 Ah.
keisarikin on työkalu, että... Se Nade on yksi säteily. Kaveri pitää huolta. We're at the regulator. Opening the access panel. And now halting the EPS flow to the port in a cell. We have little time before it causes an overload in the engine. You must work efficiently. Set to neutral. Ah, uh, okay, Erika. EPS lines to the port. Start the online. So it's just some hyvin samanlainen mini peli. Once I cycle the manifold nozzles, chill out. Okay. We have to release the ship from that other docking clamp, or the hull will be ripped apart. There's a problem. The clamps are supposed to disengage automatically in an emergency, but it's not working. But the others go. What are our options? The docking clamps are fitted with exploding bolts for an emergency release. We've got crew out there. That'd be like setting off a bomb next to them. Maybe there's another way. Starbase is hailing us. Put them through. Resolute. The remaining mooring arm is failing. You need to disengage from the starbase now. The damage to the station will be catastrophic. We have crew outside and are looking for the we safest way. We have people way on this station. If that mooring arm breaks, we could lose dozens of crew. Commander, hear me out. Reverse the polarity of the hull, which theoretically will repel the docking clamps and repel the engineering crew right off the hull into the storm. This is Captain Solano. Put me on screen. Go ahead. Captain, we have a situation. Commander, what are you doing? Blow the bolts on the docking clamp. The captain doesn't know the whole story. I'm giving you an order. Jara? Captain, you brought me here because you trusted me. Can you trust me now? You better be sure you make the right decision. The captain made himself quite clear. They're gonna get hammered with debris out there. Reverse the polarity. There is protocol. And there are lives. Starbase, stand by. We're gonna flip hull polarity to disengage the clamps. Yes, Commander. Captain, you can. The body stop at that. Repair crew, this is Acting Captain Jara Ryder. Be advised, we are going to reverse hull polarity to free us from the remaining docking clamp. Tether yourself and deactivate your boots on my mark. Understood. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mark. You. Ah. Yo. Uskon. Näin, näin, näin voi käydä. Mistä se johto tulee? Grab my hand. I got you. Thank you. Tohän oli äh, Star Trek Enterprise, niillä ei ollut suojaa, niin tää oli ainoa tapa, niin 
Plasma imbalance is reaching critical condition. We are moments from primary system failure. I got it. near you on the far end of the pylon. You must bring Miss Edsilar there to access the interior. Roger that. I'll sit them in there. On Wernerin syndrooma. Avaruussomu voi aiheuttaa lisää avaruussomua ja... I'm at the auxiliary hatch. Myöskin selvitä siitä, että pistää päänsä hiukkas si sisään. Tää yksi venäläinen tyyppi teki sillä lailla. Henkilökohtainen Tsernobyl. They're safe. Bringing the Sith fully online. Do it. Menny ihan niin kuin strömsössä. Nilly, I'm good. Help me with him. So, uh, enää tuo kovin hyvältä. Medical, got one wounded at my location. Carter. You don't look so good. You gotta be more careful. I just got here. Huh? I'm not ready to see you two get blown to space dust just yet. Now let's get you down to sick bay. Great. Status report. The repair crew made it inside. EPS flow is back to nominal levels. The SIF is back up. How does this affect mission readiness, Mr. Ermat? 
Releasing the docking clamps using hull polarity minimized damage to the Resolute. We'll have some last-minute repairs to make, but if we reapportion some of the staff, we can make our departure on time. As of now, however, we are successfully moored to the station. Good to hear. Send updates to my ready room. Commander Rydek, with me. Kapteeni yritti mikromanageroida ja sopihan. Kavara kapteeni teki eri tavalla. No niinpä. Well. Respectfully, Captain, I made the right choice given the information I had. You disobeyed my orders, and not just in front of the bridge crew, but the starbase staff as well. That's going to get around. My name's already tarnished around the fleet. But what is it going to do to my credibility on this ship? From the top to the bottom, bridge to lower decks. Captain, I told you I'd be honest, so here it is. Maybe I shouldn't have disobeyed a direct order, but you were wrong. You weren't on board, and you didn't have all the information. So I made the right decision for the ship. If you're worried about your credibility, put your ego aside and trust your crew. Trust me. You might have won some fans on the bridge with that stunt, but not everyone. Lieutenant Commander Chovak has already bent my ear. I'm sure he doesn't take it personally. He'll get over it in time. Mr. Chovak is more complicated than he would want to admit. I guess we all are. And if I'm being honest, I'm not sure what I would have done in the moment either. You never really know. If you weren't in those shoes. So, let's just boil it down to... You did what you had to. That'll have to be good enough for me. Thank you for understanding, sir. I'm sure no one knows the burden of command, as well as you do. I'm sure you will, someday. Despite it all, we've got to find the Star of the Universe's heart. So if you'll fetch Mr. Ermot, Joo, we'll knock out the five details. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Varsinkin oikeassa elämässä myöskin armeijassa. Niin no. All departments reporting full mission readiness. We've got our full complement on board. This is my favorite moment, right now. The start of a new mission is always full of possibility. The Orion Syndicate could sell it as a drug. <laughs> Don't let the Admiralty hear you say that. Captain on the bridge. Sit. Sit, everyone. You all know, I'm not big on speeches. We're embarking on the first mission since our refit. Let's make it a good one. Disengage docking clamps. No need. Put it, docking clamp inside. Docking clamps released. Tämä on aika juustosta, että ne pystyy tekemään energiasta Star Trekissä niin kuin materiaaleja ja ruokaa. Pitäisi olla selkeä. Nimenomaan se on aina asiat pitäisi olla selkeitä, mutta ne ei ole. Yksi on se, että ihmisten pitää tehdä työtä, että kaikki olisi samalla, samalla niin kuin tasolla ja ymmärryksessä asioista. Yhteisymmärrystä siis on kaikki, kaikki, kaikkien vastuulla. Tämä Jara käytti hyvin komento sillan niin kuin miehistön nykyään kysyi vaihtoehtoja. That should do it. Is that a course for the Hotari system? Prepare to go to war bait. Aye, Captain. Ja komento sillalla hän ei ole ikkunaa, vaan se on ilmeisesti evakuointi ovi, joka on vaan... Se on videoruutu. Engage. 
Engage. Thank you. I'm fine. Really, I. Uh... You don't look fine. What's going on with the VMAX lag? Okay. Diabetes sort of must know at the pahus. I have to get to sick bay. Go. Fast as it. Well, that was quite a scare. A few minutes more and it would have been one of the shortest tenures on record for a first officer. Is that the engineer that was out on the hull? That storm did a real number on him, but <laughs> he'll live. <laughs> <laughs> Just needs rest. <laughs> you should worry about yourself. Your deridium levels got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. Yo, komento, komento this is definitely one of the more memorable first days I can think of. Huolehtiminen. My name Tosi is helposti. Dr. Aram Duval, Chief Medical Officer. To be honest, I've never met a Kobliad before. You're rare, I know. Suku, suku I was Kuala going Arotu. to say special. Your people's numbers have dwindled, despite the Federation's efforts to find a more readily available alternative to the Deridium you need to survive. Yet you joined Starfleet, and managed to thrive. I imagine the responsibility must be overwhelming. Maybe even a burden at times. I know what it means. And I know the responsibility that comes with it. But I can't be anything more than who I am. And if someone has a problem with that, or expects something else, then that's their problem, not mine. That's exactly right. And don't worry, I won't treat you like a science experiment. I just do the science <laughs> and <laughs> the You don't agree with his methods? I don't agree with his definition of acceptable risks. Not when the lives of your crew are at stake. My professional opinion is that the accident took a toll. More than he's willing to admit. He's overstressed, PTSD, operating in a pressure cooker of his own mind. Which is never a good headspace when the lives of your crew are at stake. What concerns me is that now he's even further away from the thing he's been chasing his entire career. Breakthrough discovery. The major innovation. Something he can put his name on. The more the time passes and the further out of reach it gets, the more risk he'll be willing to take. We all have to chase our dreams, don't we? We need to take some risks. Isn't that why we joined Starfleet? But not at the expense of other people's lives. It's too high a price to pay. <laughs> and I have to give you credit for what happened on the bridge. It took guts to defy a direct order. Huh. I guess word travels fast around here. It's a small ship. And everyone's curious about the new XO. Well, you have a pari kolme sta miestä And I'll spare us both the lecture. It's alus. my responsibility to remind you, without regular infusions of deridium, you will not live. It's as simple as that. Understood. Kun ei, homma ei toimi, my work niin here pää. is done. Tämä viisi vuotta pyöritellut papereita, niin joo, ei sinä sellaisella ihmisellä välttämättä ole käytännöstä taas niinku... Sorry, I didn't mean to be lurking outside of sick bay. I didn't want to intrude, so it felt more appropriate to wait out here. We were all worried about you. Or I should say I was. I wasn't sure what was happening at first, but then I realized it was your condition. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. It's just part of who I am. 
Well, being a jerk sometimes is part of who I am. So, <laughs> that's I'm it, sorry that for that. Rehellinen tosta. I trusted my intuition earlier, with a deflector pulse. I felt I should thank you for that. Siis, well, thank Star Trek's you for coming. Well, thank you for coming. Even though you didn't have to. I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to. Meritokratia, kuitenkin. Now, Carter, the missions that gave you that burn are quite unusual, like everything else that goes with this storm. That's the combination of hyronolin and lectrazine to counter the radiation effects. That should help speed your healing. She's come by a couple of times to see you already. Be brief. <laughs> Be brief. <laughs> Good to see you awake again. I was starting to get worried. Not that you aren't in good hands with Dr. Duvall. You did take one hell of a shot, though. Ah, come on, you know you can't get rid of me that easy. Don't push me, Diaz. You do not want to see me try. No, nope. <laughs> I am not getting on your bad side. I am a formidable enemy. <laughs> Millie was looking in on you too, by the way. But since it's just us right now, I, uh -huh. I had a chance to think about this while I was away. And I thought it was important that I just come out and tell you. Instead of tiptoeing around it. Or worse, leaving it unsaid. Wait, are you angry at me or something? Oh, no, no, not that. I'm sorry. I'm probably making too big of a deal here. What I'm trying to say is, we've been really good friends for a long time. But I got back here and I couldn't ignore it anymore. I want to see if there's more between us than just being friends. You don't have to explain it. I feel the same way. There is something between us. So, do you want to find out what that something is? Boy, boy. If it's there for you, and it's there for me, why not give it a try? Are you kidding me? Do you have a water list of Latimista? I need a captain on your hands. Right. Sorry to interrupt, but the patient needs to rest if he wants to get back to his old self. Of course. I'll see you again soon. Captain, your tummy no bastu not tummist. Say your pelicastan poverty and pure it. Vaikka työvuorojen listat on tärkeitä, niin ei, ei niitä niin kuin joka firmassa johtaja tee. 